So now we're gonna remove three bus bars that are not used on LIBCM. It's this one, this one, and that one. Now I've already loosened all the nuts and bolts on here uh, because the junction board bolts and nuts can be very, very tight. So we're gonna take this 12 millimeter out and we're gonna take this 12 millimeter out as well. And then we're gonna remove the fuse and we're gonna remove this bus bar. It is not reused. Next up, we're gonna take the number three Phillips off of here. You do need to use a number three Phillips. This bolt is very, very tight. And if you try to use a standard number two, you're probably gonna strip the head out. We don't use this bus bar either. Finally, we're gonna remove the HVDC positive bus bar. And we're also gonna remove any grid chargers that you may have. So don't use a grid charger that is not the LIBCM specific grid charger because it could overcharge your battery, which could cause a fire. It's easiest to take the current sensor off. You can remove it without doing so, but in the next step, you'll see you probably wanna take this off anyway, so we don't nick the current sensor when we drill some holes through here. So now this whole thing will lift off. And we can take this bus bar out. This bus bar is not reused. So now what we need to do is we need to take a one and a quarter inch, which is a 32 millimeter hole saw, and we need to drill two holes. We need to widen this hole out, and we need to widen this hole out. Um, I did the prototype ones with just nippers, you know, just kind of breaking them out, cutting them out, etc. It's much easier to use a hole saw, but if you don't have one, you can do it without it. So again, it's gonna be this hole right here and this hole right here. And now we'll do the same thing on this hole here. Make sure your battery current sensor is out of the way so you don't nick it. Okay, and then we'll just clean up anything that any leftover debris, you could use a razor blade or whatever. So now we'll reinstall the current sensor. If you are reusing the 100 amp fuse, um, which means you are not using the plus 20 or plus 40% current hack, then you need to just reinstall the fuse. It needs to go underneath the bus bar though. That's not how it is OEM. If you are using a larger fuse because you're using the plus 20 or plus 40% hack, you'll see that it has a much larger diameter. So you can, you can see that here very clearly. And because of that, it won't fit in there. So what we need to do is cut material out until it will fit. Do make sure that you don't cut the HVDC cables. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut here, I'm gonna cut there, and then I'm gonna cut about right here. And then I'll cut this tab off like that. And I'll come over here and cut this tab off. Now one thing you can do because you've already cut down, uh, it makes it pretty easy. You can take a pair of wire cutters and just come in here. You can see how fragile this material is. And we're gonna just keep cutting down until the fuse fits. If this doesn't go all the way down and flush, you, you can't screw it to make it fit. That won't work. Okay, so we've probably removed way more material than we need to remove, but that is the larger current fuses. Again, if you're using the regular fuse, you don't need to do any of that work. So with the larger fuse, we'll go ahead and install it. Um, I recommend using the Latel Fuse uh, L50S series, uh, rated to 150, 175, or 200 amps. And then we will go ahead and fully tighten the right bolt, but leave the left bolt loose for now, we'll, we'll get to it later. All right, so we have two more holes to drill in the junction board. And to do that, we're gonna turn the junction board over and we're gonna find the two slots in the plastic here. And we're gonna take a 5 16th inch drill 
and we're going to put it in the bottom right corner of each of these and drill holes. And now you're going to take the two HVDC cables that power LIBCM and we're going to take the one with the red wire and we're going to put it through the hole here and then we're going to come up here and just kind of leave that disconnected for now. For the negative side, we will loosen this screw and we're going to take our eyelet here and put the housing through here and then route through here and then we're going to screw uh, both the new eyelet and the HVDC eyelet on. And then we're going to take and stick the other end through this hole. Leave a little room. We'll, we'll fix this up later. We've still got two more cables to add. And that is all the modifications we need to do to the junction board. 